Hey guys, welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to discuss on how to access your shared folder inside in QEMU Cast Linux operating system. So let's get started. To begin with, let us install the package application. From here, click the activities menu and search terminal. Inside terminal, install the following. Before we proceed with the installation, let us discuss first what is CIFS. It is stands for generally the preferred method for mounting are also known as SMB, Share Files on Linux. This provides supports for cross-platform like Microsoft, Mac, and other Unix system. All right, so let's proceed. From here, hit Enter. Enter your password. Select Yes. All right, at this point here, our CIFS was successfully installed. Let us proceed now with the shared folder. For the shared folder, we can create that in any drives. So let's begin. Head over to Activities menu and select Files. In this location, I'm going to select Desktop. From here, Let's open our terminal by simply right-click and open in terminal. From here, let us create the shared folder by typing mkdir p winshare. Once done, check your desktop. And there you go. At this point here, we're ready to go. Now, let's go back to our host and configure the user and the shared folder. So let's start. On your Windows host, click on the search bar and type computer. Then look for computer management app. From here, locate local users and groups. Double click users. Within this list, right click in this section, select new user. From here, let us fill up the following. Username, demo. Full name, just demo. For the password, one, two, three, four, five. Same goes, one, two, three, four, five. Then I check this one. Select this second option. Then click create. Once done, click close. And there you go. At this point here, we're ready to go. Next, we're going to create the shared folder and apply the user that we create just now. So let's begin. For our shared folder, we can create that in any drives. But for this demo, I'm going to create that in this section. 
click the new folder and then type shared windows folder from here we can modify the properties by clicking the folder then right click and select properties or you can modify that under home then click properties From here, select the Sharing tab. Then select Share. From our Share, click this drop-down list and locate the user. Once found, click Add. Then let's modify the permission level. Set this to Read or Write. Then click Share. Once done, click Done. Once done, click Close. And there you go. Let's open our shared folder. From here, let us create a test file. Simply right click, click New. Then I'm going to create a text document. I'm going to label this as test. Open this up. For our test file, let us type here hello world. Click save. Then close. All right, we're ready to go. At this point here, we're going to proceed now to the guest and apply the share method to access this file. So let's proceed. Before we proceed, let us check first our IP address. On your Windows, open the command prompt and type IP config. From our list, Locate your default adapter. For this demo, I'm going to get this IP, the 192.168.56.1. So on your section, it could be the, the wireless or anything which is default on your system. All right, that's it. Before we proceed with our shading, let us examine first our code. On the first line, we call the CIFS, then followed by the network shared folder from our windows. Next to that, we apply the shared folder with our Debian, and then we call the this operation, then space, from here, we call the username, which is the demo, and our password. This goes from our Windows, and the file permission, which is the file mode 0777, and the DRR mode 0777. 0777 with the permission of read-write in this section here. All right, so let's proceed. From here, right click on the white screen, open in terminal, then let's apply the code. Enter your shared folder. space, and then your mounting folder, then space, hyphen O, username, 
comma, password. Comma, then the file mode. Comma, and the DIR mode. Once done, hit enter. Enter your password. And there you go. To check your mount folder, type the following. Once you see your map folder in the list, like this one, it means that your shared folder was successfully mounted. At this point, we're ready to go. So let's head down to the WinShare folder. Open our WinShare folder. And there you go. Let's open our text file. Let's modify this one. Then save. And there you go. It means that our file is accessible, readable, and writable. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and click the like button and subscribe for any videos just like this. Cheers!